up, you too? Man, look, I'm here today about to give you some great knowledge, man. We're about to go over income statements and balance sheet. We're going to go over real simple and plain. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is what I started with. When I had my time growing up trying to get my mind cultivated, right? I want to go back to those days, right? I had to go back because every time you get into business, you start to get into a cycle. And it, it's real good sometimes to go back to the, to the basics, right? So I'm about to go back to the basics. Let's go over here and let's see about what we have here to talk about today. Now, today we're going to go over, as I said, income statements and balance sheet. Now, income statement, as I'm going to draw it here as a box, and this is how I learned it. I learned it right here. So, as we're going to go over an income statement, so we got it here as an income statement. Income statement. All right. And then the income statement, it consists of income, of course, income statement, income, and what else? What else you got other, uh, uh, other than income? Expenses, right? Expenses. So we got income and expenses, right? Now in these boxes, you can do a couple of things. You can actually see where you are today if you want to do and say, hey, this is what I'm doing today because I've done that in here. Uh, we go over here. I'm going to tell you more about that. And you can also say where you want to go in a future time, right? So I use that. Now let's go over here and we're going to break Draw this one like this, and we're going to put this one like that, and we're going to call this a balance. A balance sheet. Now, a balance sheet, it tells you what you have as assets and liabilities. Right? Now, the reason why I put it and it was so important for me to have this was because I needed to know what I wanted to have on each one of my sheets, right? So, I go first and say, hey... What I had right here was 120K, man. 120. I wanted to make 120K, man, on my income stack, right? And I wanted to have some passive cash flow, right? Some passive. Passive cash flow. Right? That's what I wanted to have in my income stack. Pow. Right? Now, in my expenses, I wanted to have 3K. That's household. Household expenses, right? All right. So over here, we're gonna go on the asset column, right? And we got a couple of assets, and it's broke down into four major assets. All right. We have real estate. You have business. You have commodities, and then you have uh, paper. Right now, you have commodities and you have paper. Now, commodity is oil. Uh, let's see what else is going to go. Silver. You know, stuff like that, all right? So, we got commodities, business, real estate, and paper, paper assets, which is stocks, bonds, and stuff like that, right? All right, so, this is what we have here is a balance sheet, boom, and then we have an income statement. Now, on my liabilities, I had house. It's a car. We had bills. I have a children, needs, court color. As we know, the liabilities here comes here and go out. Right? Liabilities go to your expenses. So house note, car note, bills, it go to your expenses and then go out. Right? So on this thing it said how much and from what. So how much? And from what? So, what we want to do is when we really dial in on this thing, we want to get it down to where how much and from what is my 3K coming from. I just wrapped all these up in the 3K, right? And just made it going out that way, right? So, let's go here. Now, we got over here, we got this going over to income, right? Bow. It comes over to income, right? Five. Now, how do you want that money to come in? Now, for me, I said one. It's so number one. And I want two. And I say maybe three. 
and forth. I should have wrote it in another color. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it like this. Let's see if we can do it like this. Let me get y'all here. One, two, three, four. All right. And that makes a difference, right? That makes a difference to me because when I set up my game plan, I wanted, I know a business was an asset, real estate is an asset, paper assets and commodities are all assets. So I know exactly what I'm going for. So for me, I wanted to go for a business first. So I went for the business and here we go. We got, all right, cleaning, A-C-S. That's a cleaning business. All right. And then we have here, real estate. We ain't going to get to that right now. We're not going to get to that, right? We're just going to say we got the cleaning business here. Let me erase this here, all right? So we got the cleaning business, right? So the cleaning business, it starts to make the income, and the income is here. Now, we're looking for a passive cash flow. So what we need to do as we start to build up this income, we need to figure out how we're going to get the passive cash flow, right? So we're going to figure out that we're going to real estate. That's what my goal plan, game plan was. That's why real estate is number two. So as I'm setting my business up, I know that the business is going to provide for another asset. Now, business provide for another asset. Asset take care of the liabilities and the liabilities take care of everything uh, that you need, right? But the whole goal is to keep your assets over your liabilities. So therefore, you want to balance this out with your assets and your liabilities. You want to make sure your assets can take care of your liabilities, right? And then you have your income statement, which is telling you what you're actually making more. That's how I would look at it. Now, on the, when you're smaller, you focus on your income statement. But when I first started, I didn't have any uh, balances. I didn't have assets or liabilities. So I, I started with uh, just my income statement. Somebody don't have liabilities or assets. Just start with your income statement, right? So we already know that this goes here. So let me break this up just a little bit so I can give another illustration right through here. Let's break down the income statement that I have right here, right? We have ordinary earned income. So I get into ordinary earned income and all of that stuff a little later on. But right now we're just talking about an income statement and a balance sheet. We're not talking about how the income is made or what type of income too much right now, all right? All right, so let's go over income statement. This is my income statement. Right? And this is 2015. This is 2015. Let's just keep it real. This is 2015. This is 2015 how I broke down, how I broke my income statement down, right? So on 1.15, I had 17 cents. Hour. Then we have 3, 1, 15. All right, so that's 34 cents an hour. I got to write it, boss. I must have went uh, to be a counselor. Uh, I got up quick, though, because it takes people years to do that. That's what I realized in that. But I moved up quick like that. I'm like, man, it takes people years. There's been people here years, and they ain't just not making 20 cents. So I seen a quick jump, right? Now, we go to 615. That's 615, and we make it 34 cents. And that's about... $40 a month. That's about $40 a month, right? $40 a month. That's what it was. Now, we go over here. Let's get that out. 40 a month. Let's get that out, right? Boom. So, we're going to do, I was getting 50% garnish wages. So, now we had a dollar cable. We had a dollar cable bill. All right, so there you go. There we go right here, right? We got 50%, 50 percent garnish wages off of $40 an hour. Man, making $0.34 cent an hour, you want to take 50%, man. But you still can make it, though. I'm going to show you how you still can make it, though, right? So $0.34. Cent. So let's go down here. This is on, this is 15. So let's go on 3, 16, right? Uh, maybe roughly, almost a year later, we was making $0.34. Cent. Out plus store property. O F I T. And that's where the begin that's where the story begins. That's where the story begins. 316 in March of 2016, it's 34 cent an hour plus store profits. Now, that's what it was. Now, alright, we make it store profits. Now it says right here, 416, right? I went too low. It's a thousand one K cash. 
From 17 cents an hour, I saved $1,000 cash, sent it home. And I cheated three months earlier than what I said I was going to do. Now, that's determination. And I know a lot of times we say that we don't have enough. We, don't, we can't do it. Well, look, if you set up your balance sheet, you set up your income statement, you start writing what you want in there. Now, this was five years. This was five years. And I get fired up because this is a true story. Uh, five years, right? I did that in one. I did it in one. Now, that's because I had set the foundation. I had set the foundation for what I wanted. If I'd have known a little better, I would have put 120K passive income. But I put 120K in passive income. I didn't never think I was gonna make 120,000 anyway. So I put it in there just cause I put it in there, but I blew past that, double, I doubled that the first year of business. Doubled that the first year of business, right? Not the passive, not the passive cash flow. I got that a little later on. That's number two. I got that a little later on. But what I wanna tell you is this. This is not about what I did, right? It's about how I did it. What I did is set my stuff up. How I did it was determination, focus, and a plan. Education, right? What this part you want to know is, we're going to know how much do I want. How much do I want? That's what you want to put in your income statement. Right? Let's see where you are. So we got an income statement right here that's saying where I am, where I was, what was going on. We breaking down 17 cent an hour, 34 cent an hour, 34 cent an hour, you know, and then we go a couple months later, we make it 34 cent an hour plus store profit. Right? So we see the growth. We see the growth in the income statements. We see that uh now 416, we got a thousand dollars cash flow. We got $1,000 set to the side, which was my emergency fund that I needed. And we see we got that. So you see how I can go back to 2015 to see how I came up just by using a simple income statement, right? So if I could do that, if you can do that, then we both can do that. And in five years, let's see where we are. So I can show you where I am five years from this. The goal is to fill your asset column up, right? Fill your asset column up without having to buy the asset. Now, that's the goal. How can you fill your asset column up without buying an asset? There's some more assets that I didn't put in there, and they fall into, I think, um, business, but it's a different type of business. Uh, so if you can fill this asset cl class up without having to purchase the asset, now that's amazing, right? And then having that asset pay for the liabilities. Now, that's the structure that you're looking for. Now, we'll figure out how to get there, all right? Follow me. It's a journey, right? If you like the content that I put up, hit the subscribe button. There's a bell to be notified every time I put a video up. You can share if you think there's someone else like to hear it. Well, I like to say throw something positive in there because as prayers go up, blessings come down. Or you can leave a comment below.